Wow, it's eight o'clock in the morning and it feels like 97 degrees when it's actually, it's 80 some degrees here in Puerto Rico. It's really hot and warm, especially humid. So, <laughs> but yes, my design is on the shovel and I will be using uh, four watercolors today. I'm gonna give you the names of the colors that I'm using. It's uh, green gold, quinacridone magenta, deoxysine purple, transparent pyrrole orange, cerulean blue, cobalt teal, and then I bought additional colors. I have iridescent gold, I have cobalt blue, permanent gamboge, transparent brown oxide, and bohemian green earth. So I'm gonna lay them on my uh, palette and I'll be back. So now my, my first wash and my second layers are dry. And I want to do something a little bit more abstract, so I'm going to grab my mop brush here and I'm going to start applying colors to my bunnies. I am going to start, I don't know, kind of I swift uh, the brush so I can take out the excess water. That's what I do when I... <laughs> it's just that. And so I also want to add some color to my flowers. So I can distinguish them, the individual petals, one from another. Or add petals if it's needed. Just make sure that when you are, I like to do a very tight painting, but also loose is a very nice way of painting, actually. It's supposed to be the only right way to paint watercolors, but since life has changed, any which way it's fine, as long as it looks the part that it's supposed to look. Now I'm doing my flower here, my bunny's eating a flower. I do many styles, so I don't go by the rules. Usually I break them, but that's what happens when you are a self-taught artist. You learn the rules and then you break them. I think Picasso said that. So I've laid my basic colors, but I'm gonna bring my other palette because I wanna add more colors to this. So, so I already have, I don't have to apply them. I just want more blues. And I not only have uh, Cerulean blue here, I have ultramarine and I have cobalt and this other plate. I 
forgot what I brought it for. One thing that I'm gonna take advantage is that when you are painting um, like on paper you get hard water lines with your watercolors and I'm gonna take advantage of that with the wings of my dragonfly here actually create some water lines there. Now I'm adding magenta, quinacridone magenta, just to bring out that flower into life. Make her vibrate, full of colors. The other, the other color be, be after the yellow uh, was uh, pyrrole orange. There, that kind of looks like it. I'm missing two more flowers. colors to my bunnies. I'm gonna start with cobalt turquoise and teal. This one's teal. define itself once we start doing more more value on the colors and then it will define itself I'm gonna be doing the sap green scarlet here scarlet red because I want my bunnies to start taking a, a darker brown careful because my flower is pyrrole orange and the scarlet kind of looks very close in values and hue but what I'm gonna do is I just want to define my bunny
I can see my dragonfly has run down. That happens. Not a problem. Actually, gives me an idea to make those buds in the center a little bit more green. the new gamboge just to define leaves all over the place I think it's almost done. I will apply some ultramarine blue to the bunny. And I'm jumping it that way so it creates kind of a fur effect. To live in Illinois not too far not not too long ago and I loved it it was it was great I'm gonna leave it up to here the next time you see it you're gonna see it complete so we can actually have the minutes that I need for the video